Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so in the last couple of videos I told you, um, since we already did his still book collection, we're going to do his, or oh. our complete um, box sets, Blu-ray box sets, 4Ks. I was telling him early when we were getting them all out, you don't realize how many you have until you start looking at them. Oh my god, he has so many box sets, or we do, and uh, a lot of 4K box sets. Um, oh, dog, jeez. You know, I, the, big, the thing, some of those Blu-rays that I have, they could be like a one, two, or three. Yeah. So I got those put. I don't think they are, but Gee. they could be. That's like, it's got to be like Well, you know what's over amazing? 50. But you know what's really amazing real quick? Sorry, I had to sneeze, guys. Go ahead. Well, you know what's really amazing is how what? much overkill I have. Where, where, I well, have you know what? where I have a collector set in 4K, and then I have it in blue. Well, you know what? I can always take some off your hand. I'm just playing. But anyway, let's go and get started, guys. I'm going to show you um, the 4Ks first, and then I'll hand them so we can organize them at the same time. Um, but I'm going to start off with one collection that he got last year for Christmas. It's so cool, guys. And that is the Scooby-Doo Complete Series. Um, this is so freaking neat. And you get a little Pop Funko, a pop, um, Funko in here of Scooby-Doo, and this is all you get in here. This is one of the really nice sets. Um, this is the 50th Anniversary Edition. Um, of course, you can take it out of this plastic, but um, this protects it. But this is so, so neat. And you get a book in here. Um, like I said, you get a little Funko. So, so cool. But um, And this is the limited edition series. Um, they made 50,000 of these, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, I love Scooby-Doo. I grew up watching this as a kid. Just absolutely love it. So, yeah, there you go. I think that's kind of funny when love you say 50,000. I know. All right, let's go and move on to his 4Ks, guys. All right, so the first one up is some of my favorite movies, and that's um, Illumination, all three um, Despicable Me films. I love these. Like my, like I said before, my favorite one is the second one, but they're all fantastic. The third one's pretty good, but the first two are excellent. Um, I just adore these films so, so much, and yeah, I love these films. And I got that at a really good price. Yeah, so uh, cool. I think it was around 30, what was it, 30... Two, yeah, they keep going $3. up with this. Well, it fluctuates. Yeah. Well, I think now they're up back up to about yeah. fifty something. But but factoring that out, that was probably because uh, usually they're how much were they individually? They were usually in the twenty plus twenty dollar range. plus. Yeah, yeah. So really, you could say say twenty dollars. So for about eleven, twelve, say thirteen more dollars, I was able to buy two more. So yeah. I thought that was pretty that's cool. Neat. So I that's love pretty it. smart. That is pretty smart. You're but, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. So the next one up is the Expendables one, two, and three. This is a cool set as well. I've seen, like, I think one of these. Not all the way through, though. But um, he loves these movies. I don't think I've, have you ever seen the third one? I know you've seen the one of the, or the first one and mm -hmm. the second one. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a gorgeous set. He got this last year, I think, around Christmas time, I think. So, yeah. I don't Neat think, set. I don't think I've watched any in 4K. I don't know if I've watched any in 4K. I don't think we have. Not. It's not open, so. Yeah. Well, I have I have that in blue as right, well. Right, you have all I of have them. all three of them. And still book form, too. So that's and really cool. And still book as well, yeah. yeah. So. All right, so the next set um, is... Are these in order? Yeah, I gave them to you in order, yes. Um, it's the Fast and Furious 8-movie um, collection. Now, didn't you watch the fifth one in 4K? I know you watched one one night, yeah. Mm, um, no. You know, I can't even remember which one. It was one, one of these you were watching. Hold on. Hold on, let me think. I don't remember. Oh, hell, I can't remember. Gorgeous set, though, guys. But um, this is a neat one. Oh, I love the, the fifth it, one. It might have been the fifth one. I can't remember which one it was, but um, I love the fifth one. That's probably my favorite one out of the franchise, but I do love the first one. Second one's good. Third one's eh. Fourth one, don't really care for the fourth one. The fifth one's really good. The sixth one's okay. Never seen the seventh or the eighth one. I like so, one. Yeah. I like one, four, five. I love five. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I didn't care for and six. It just, it's one of these little books, Did guys. Did you care for the sixth one? It was okay. I just I love like the it. first and the fifth are my favorites. So, yeah, there's that one. Well, the fifth, really, in a way, was kind of like the fourth. It was. It it's was. Somewhat similar. I mean. All right. So then he has the Harry Potter collection. Of course, you get the Blu-rays in here and the 4Ks. Um, still have not. I've seen the first one in 4K because I have it. Um, hold on. Hold on a second. What you forgot to mention real quick, the Fast and Furious. I also have that in the blue, but I ended up giving that to yeah, you. Yeah. I've seen. Yeah. I've shown so you that You should have mentioned that. So. Yeah. It's the one that actually has the It uh, lights the up. Light, the, yeah. The light so freaking behind. awesome. I love it. Cool. But that one is um, one through seven. It doesn't, have, it doesn't have the eighth one in it, but uh, maybe one day I need to pick the eighth one up. Um, but these are some of my favorite movies of all time. This is my favorite franchise of all time. I love this franchise so much. Um, if I had my favorite Harry Potter film is The Goblet of Fire. Love it. Uh, I could watch that movie over and over and over. And the first one's really 
one of my favorites as well. But um, yeah, I love these films so much, guys. Yes, love them. I love that set as well, too. Here you go. <clears throat> Why are you, like, snatching? All right, so the next one up is Predator 3 uh, Film Collection. You get Predator, Predator 2, and the new Predators in here. Uh, we watched the first one in 4K. It was freaking amazing. So, so good. Um, never seen the second one or yeah, the third you know, one. You know, the thing for me... Let me just say this real quick. I, I absolutely like Predator. And to me, it's one of my favorite. Uh, the second one, yeah. Predator 2 with Danny Glover, I like that one as well. Uh, probably not as much as the first one. Right. But the story, you know, with the first one is the fact that it's a remote island. Right. The fact is the Predator ends up on a remote island. Which yeah. Is, is it all, is it believable? Eh. Hell no, it's not. Yeah. But still, it's a good ride. It's a lot of yeah. fun. Uh, this does look really, it really does. good in it, 4K. Yeah, it was awesome. They, tr they um, cleaned it up nicely. All the, so, basically, it was well, crazy. Never mind. But it looked good to me. So, I know you like that movie. So, it's got Carl, Carl Weathers in it. Um, of course, Schwarzenegger. Duh. Um, who else is in it? I don't know. Jesse the Body Venture. Uh, that's, that's who I was thinking about. I couldn't think of his name. But I know his face. I don't know his name. You know a lot about movies more than I do. So, no, all right. So the next one up is the Mummy Collection. You get the Mummy, the Mummy Returns, and the Mummy, the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. This doesn't have the Scorpion King in it, but or any of those films. But um, the first one's really good. I did like the first one. I've never seen the second one, I don't think, or the third one. But the first one's excellent. Brian Fraser is really well, good. Well, I think if you like if you like Raiders of the Lost Ark, that whole deal. You know, I need to watch those that, films so bad. Those are very good. Yes, by the I way. love the those first one. Those are very one. enjoyable. They're entertaining. They're uh, they're they're a good ride. They're a fun right. ride. They are. Know? And I, love and, the I first and I do one. like I do like the main character yes. in there. Um, Brent Fraser, I mm -hmm. like him, yes. Yeah. Alright, so the final four K set and that is Jurassic Park. Um one through five. Um I wonder how it? this looks in four K. Or is this one through four? Which one? This one. Is it one through four? Or does it have the fifth one in here? No, it just has um I can't This remember. is all the way up to Jurassic World. So the new one's not in here, which don't really care. It didn't need to be made, but I already said um, that. But I loved the first one. I did. I did enjoy. Well, Jurassic when you World. spend when you spend most of the damn time in a movie having to talk about what man what man did, you know, really that's that's the same thing with that, Jurassic, that monster. Um, that, yeah, that, King of the that, Monsters. Yeah. King of Monsters. Yeah. You know what? I don't need to see that. And you also he also has the. Uh, um, they made two versions of this one. This is one like a digipack thing, and then the Snowbook version of this one as well. And besides, most of that movie was in dark anyway, and I had a hard time. Yeah, seeing Yeah, I didn't care for it. Um, and I know, I know what some people are going to say. Going to say, well, it's because you got a so and so TV, you don't have a large. I get that, but still. Yeah, I still, didn't care it, for it. it. I didn't care for the politics. I have of it, it, but just because I have let me the just other say ones. this. I understand. I've said it before. I get it. Okay, sometimes, but when you're constantly having to throw it in my face, yeah. all through, you know, I can understand one or two lines, right? You know, blah blah. blah. But to continue, continue, I yeah. don't care for that. All right, guys, we're moving on. All right, so now we're going to move on to the Blu-rays um, box sets. And this first one up is Nightmare on Elm Street. All seven original Nightmare films. So you get, um, let's see, uh, a Nightmare, the first one, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, and then you get Wes Craven's Nightmare. Um, the one that's not in here is the newest one, the remake of the first one. Um, that's not in here, but um, I've never seen any of these. I think I've seen some of the first one with, John, with Johnny Depp's in it, but uh, I've never really seen any of these films. I know you have. Have you seen every single one of these, or is this the first one? I probably have, but yeah. I don't remember them. I mean, I can't remember yeah. every movie that I've it's seen creepy in the looking. last 30, 40 years, because there's been so many of them. But Robert and England... Actually, to be honest with you, I get bored with some of yeah, them. Yeah, but Robert and England so I don't, was... I don't, I don't have a tendency to continue watching them. You know, to me, it's like, you're talking about overkill, dead, flat, yeah. whatever the words you want to use. Yeah. You know, it's like when you get into Halloweens, when you get into the, the, the Friday 13th. Yeah. Come on, give me a break. Yeah, but I think... Friday the 13th? I know. The acting in it... But I think Robert England did a, did a great job as Freddy Krueger. The very first one? Yeah. The first one, when I first saw it, yeah. it blew me away because, first of all, I, I had no idea going into the movie right. actually what it was about. Not, not exactly. Of course, I know the story. You know the story about, right. about I know. Freddy. What yeah. happens? Parents decide to get together. Right. Blah, blah, blah. He's, uh, what is he at school? Is he a janitor or something at school? I think, I think so, yeah. Isn't that how it starts out? But, and he molests. What does he do? Molest or 
doesn't he kill or something uh-huh. like that? Children? Yes, yeah. And uh, and because of some technicality, whatever, he gets off, whatever. Right. So parents decide yes. to take it in their own. You know, that's kind of one of those stories. And so he constantly comes back in the dreams, you know, and yeah. he kills. But th- the first one, uh, yeah, was very good. You know, from, speaking of the first one real quick, you know, Johnny Depp was in there I know, I well. said that. I, see, oh, I said did? Johnny you Depp did? was yeah. in the first one, yeah. I think I saw the second, maybe up to, real quick, up to probably about f- maybe four of them. Yeah. But like I said, after that, I just... I yeah, just, never seen any of those except that some of the first one. So I probably have. I just don't remember. All right, so the next one up is Back to the Future one, two, and three. Um, this is from the UK because you can see the symbols down there. But I have seen all those. One mind. day I'm going to sit down and watch every single one of these. Um, the first one I've seen, I think almost all of it. And the Would you second like for one, me to tell you real quick? No, they, I don't. Don't tell me. No, the other two didn't need to be made. Yeah, but this is a gorgeous. The gorgeous first set. one, the first one is always on its own. It will stand on its own. is is perfect. It's an excellent movie. Of course, it's, it's from great, Steven Spielberg. It's, you know, it's it's. it's yeah, like but, I said, guys, but I really want to watch every single one of the these. The other two, the other two, they didn't need to make. Yeah. Trust me, they didn't need to make them. It's a gorgeous You know, set. you've seen some of the second one. I've seen some of the third one, too. Have, it has basically yes. to do with Almanac. Yes. And, you know, what's that guy? Biff. Biff, whatever that kind of, dude yeah. is, You know, the yeah. movie. The yeah. third one is a Western. Western, more Western right. Like, you know, Never and, seen and that one. To be honest, I've seen some of it, didn't see it all. I just didn't care for it. But to me, the first one was yeah. perfect, and they haven't. Uh, they haven't. You think you think they'll ever try? They to make said a they're going to come make that in 4K this year. So. No, I'm saying, do you fourth think? Fourth one, I don't think so. They, I've heard people say remake, all the time reboot. they need to just leave it alone. Do not remake that movie. Okay, so the next one up is the Batman mm-hmm. collection: Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman Robin. Um, I've seen these finally. The first one's excellent. The second one's really good. The third one's pretty good too, and the fourth one's. Eh. But um, I absolutely love. Love Michael Keaton as Batman. I think he's excellent. Um, Jad Nicholson as the Joker was fantastic as well. Did you um, like the third one? Yeah, I said that. Um, facts, the first one's my favorite. The second one's really good. The third one's um, pretty good as well. And the fourth one's that. I don't really care for the fourth one. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. I never really cared for it. But um, And I didn't really care for um, McDonald. What's his name? Chris, Chris O'Donnell as Be- or Robin. No, I just don't care for him. But... Um, Michael Keaton as Batman was perfect. I love him so much. Okay, so the next one up. Um, Beverly Hills Cop 1, 2, and 3. Like I showed you, my one of my videos, I have the, the collection that he bought me. Love them. Second one's my favorite. Um, the first one's really good. The third one they should have never made. But um, I love um, Eddie Murphy. Good luck to run a blank there for a second. But these are funny. For, well, you I know what? You, so you, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second before you continue. You didn't even mention this. I bought that set a couple, probably about two years ago, and it's it's. I think I bought it from the UK, yeah. I believe. And the reason I bought it, you need to you need to tell them why I bought it. The reason I bought it was because the, the third one, for some f reason, wasn't released here in the fucking United States of America. I'm so fucking tired of that. No, it's bullshit. And then what? Here. Behold, last this year, this year they this made year, one, two, and three. Lo and behold, they decided yeah. to come out with a third one. You stupid. It it, it, uh, makes, it doesn't make sense. But I absolutely love the second one. It's but so it hilarious. Make sense. The, the second one I actually think is better best. than the first. That's what I said. I like it. The first like one it. is good. The second one's the best. And the third one's eh. Yeah. The third one's just average, yeah. in my opinion. But I don't I do understand the market. I don't understand I don't these companies. I don't get it. And it's like I said in one of the other videos real quick. We were talking about 48 hours, another 48 hours. I know. I know. bring that up. I still... Have not seen the second another forty eight hours Blu-ray. of Blu-ray. I know. I don't you get it. Why in the hell can't they release that here in the states? I don't know. And by the way, I can't even go anywhere international to purchase it. Yeah. But that's what I did with this. I know. Because I wanted to get a complete set real quick, and the only way to get a third one was to get it in, in that set. set. Yeah. So now you can get it in America or Walmart. And so now this is basically fucking worthless. No. <laughs> All right, so the next one up is um, the complete collection of Billy Jack. This is from Shout, the Shout Select, um, which is Shout Factory. Um, never seen any of these films, but you can um, edit those those F words. No, it's fine. But this get, is a I get cool tired set, of, though, guys. It's the same shit over and over with these with these movies. I've been collecting enough for the last couple of years. I know what they do. And it doesn't make a bit of damn sense. All right, I so don't get it. And this one, you get the Born Losers, Billy Jack, the Trial of Billy Jack, and Billy Jack goes to Washington. So yeah, cool set though. That thing is like black and white. I didn't sh- did you say Shout Factory said, did that? This is from yeah, Shout Factory, but is a Shout Select. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. I love yeah. that set. It's really nice. It's one you don't see very often. All right, next one up. This is a cool set. Um, the Blonde Camp. You get Dish Nine, Chappie, and Elysium. Um, I've seen some of um. 
District 9, where we were watching it one day. Chappie, I've seen some. I've never seen any of Elysium, but um, this is from Neil Blomkamp. Yeah, that's um, pretty cool when that guy yeah. gets infected. Yes, I know. This you is know how he gets neat infected, set, don't you? Yeah. No. I know. I told you the story. This before. is one you of those go on. digipack things. Really and nice. And then he eventually goes through a transformation. He yes. eventually becomes one of them. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, All that's right. a nice set. It is nice. That's neat. I love it. It's actually, he's conducting an inspection or something oh. like that. All right, so the next one up is yeah, the complete, well. it's not the complete now because they made more. Um, the Ch Ch Chucky collection, you get um, oh. Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, Pseudo Chucky, and the Curse of Chucky. Oh, yeah, then you have the Cult of Chucky where right here. But they also have the remake you need to get too of Child's Play. Another one? It's the remake of the first one, yes. Oh. But um, I've seen. When did that come out? Last year. It's the remake of the first one. You didn't tell me that. I did tell you that before. Oh, shit. But um, you can get it eventually. But um, I've seen... Um, out of the ones I've seen, I really did like Bride of Chucky. I thought it was pretty cool. But um, the Seed of Chucky was disgusting. Um, the Cursed Chucky I've never seen. The first one I've seen some of it, but I did enjoy Bride of Chucky. I thought it was freaking hilarious. I love the, um, the... Well, didn't, don't you understand? That's what sells in our culture. Yes, but... Sex, um, sexuality. I've never anything seen... Anything related to... I've never seen the second one or the third one, but I mean, I just never really got into these, but it's a cool set though. Really cool. Now I just need to get the new one without every single one of them. So, all right. So the next one up is Clint Eastwood. This is a seven movie collection. Um, You get two me oh, I'll just let you read it. Now I got days. screwed on that one too. <laughs> Those are all the movies at the bottom if you want to read it. Uh, but I love Clint Eastwood. I think he is such a that fantastic set, actor. Real quick, that um, set I purchased because... There were, I, I can't remember the exacts, but there were a few movies on there you could not purchase anywhere yeah. in blue. And the only way you could purchase those in was set, in the set. Yeah. Can, I, can I see the set real quick? Yeah. Or can you just Love name it. some of the movies? I did. I, I showed it to Two one of Two Mules for right. Sister. Let me hold on a minute real quick. Sister Sarah, Joe Kidd, the High Plains Drifter. Uh, I think The Begob was one of them. Right. And I think uh, the uh, a Iger uh, sanction was sanction. another one, I think. Right. I think you those were the two. I think yeah. you did the other ones in blue. Yeah. But now you can. Now. I think you get them individually in blue. Well, yes. It screws me again. The Begob, so, I've seen someone that has the individual release. Yeah. So you can get that by itself if you wanted to. Yeah. That came out about two years ago. Yeah. Something like that. So, so. who knows? All right, guys. We are going to continue. All right. So the next one up is Cobra Kai Season 1. We do have the second one, but they did not make the second one on Blu-ray. It's just DVD, which is weird. It was actually, Here we go. It was again. actually one, season one, two again, but you get a bandana with it. was really nice. Um, this, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. For you, what you forgot to mention I was going to say that, yes. Okay. Um, we got it at Walmart for like 20 bucks. okay? Um, we've seen it at Target before. We never picked it up. We found it at Walmart finally last year sometime. Or was it this year? It might have been earlier this year we found it. But anyway... You can't find it anymore, which I don't know why. You cannot find it in Walmart, Target, Best Buy, nowhere. You can find it on Amazon for like $100. Is it like $100 or something like no, that? No, you can't even find it on Amazon. Or eBay. It's Is it eBay? eBay, it's yeah. stupid. It's crazy. I've I don't them, understand it, guys. I've seen it open without the bandana. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is it a bandana? It's yeah. a bandana. It's like what without, he wears on his head. Yeah, without the, yeah. Without the bandana. It's this thing right which, here. Which, by the way, I have that. I have right the here. collector set. Right. It's this one, yeah. Well, wait a minute. That's the blue. Right, I know that. That's just the that's just the season one, one right? But the well, other maybe one, you, I didn't want you to do that one. Why? What's the difference? Because it doesn't have both seasons. I know that, but I just the DVD said that. has the both seasons, right? Right. And I bought that set, well, you, oh, like you said. But love I've the seen, show. but I've seen the one without the bandana right. eBay for like bidding was I, like sixty dollars. I don't get it. I don't understand. But it's real simple. It's always supply versus demand. You remember, you couldn't; those were not released here in the United right. States. Yeah. They were only released, I think, in the UK. Yeah. Um, but this show was fantastic. Now the DVD, um, the DVD, I can't yeah, remember where was, was that released. Was I here in the here, states? Yeah, but we got very it at Walmart. Few, very, very few. Very few. And the only two store, uh, Target, Target and Walmart, it, uh, very few times. And Walmart probably one had it time. Once. Yeah, we got so, the last copy they had. Well, there you go. That's the reason oh, because love because it. apparently there's more of a demand and supply. And by the way, I love this show. By the way, the two series, the, the oh, one and two, se season one and season two. Does an absolutely awesome job at continuing the story. It stays with the movie, which I love. It stays with the movie, and I like how they constantly go back. I love it. You know how they go back. They show, and see some of the yes, images from the, from, the, from the first. Love this show so so much. I cannot. 
they better make a season three. That's all I gotta say. Because especially the way the second season ended, they need to make a third season. I read that. I read that uh, there is gonna be. A, well, they need to. Well, they awesome. have to because the remember ended. what I told you about the. Uh, I think they. Yes. Said, what was the? Uh, what was the amount? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not the census. Uh, when they do a when they do a total of the amount of people that have the watched. The viewers. Yeah. Uh, what do they call it? Is it a census? Yeah, census? census or something like that. Or yeah. viewers. Yeah. I think the number was between like 16, 18 million oh, people. I so, love it so much. So there's definitely yeah, yeah. there's definitely gonna be a third one. I love number. the movie too. But real quick, how far do you think they can go with it? Do you think they well, continue it? They can maybe make make up to four seasons. That's what I would say. They got to make a third one now. They have to. Where the second season ended, maybe they go like three or like about four, maybe. Well, I also like the way it explains the story about. I Johnny. do too. You, yeah. you you get more of an understanding right. from him as as why of why he is, he the, is the way he is, he is. Yes, exactly. Which we didn't know. Yeah. Because I never explained that before. So. All right. So the next one, I, I really do want to get this stuff for myself, but I do have the the Blu-ray or the box set of this one, and that is the Dark Knight trilogy one, two, and three. You get these like nice art cards in here with it. And he had a pretty know, shitty life. He did, but oh I love these movies. Um, the first one, The Batman Begins, is really, really good. Dark Knight is my favorite. Dark Knight Rises is eh, but The Batman Begins, um, The Dark Knight is fantastic. One of the best movies ever made, in my opinion. Absolutely love it. What's the one that I didn't like? The one that was really, I couldn't stand The Dark Knight we Rises? The second time. Didn't care for it. Did not care for it. We liked it, which is weird. We liked it the first time. We watched it in 4K. Hard. Didn't care for it, it. Didn't it put you to sleep almost? I didn't like it at all. All right, so the next one up is. The Die Hard Collection. This is the 25th anniversary edition. It was now, the dark. only one I saw in here is the newest one because people said it was actually trash. Good Day to Die Hard, I think that's the name of it. Yeah, a Good Day to Die Hard. Um, so in here you get Die Hard, Die Hard 2, Die Harder, Die Hard with a Vengeance, and Live Through Die Hard. So yeah, the first one is amazing. I, I vaguely first. remember the third, the second one was real, I thought was it's good. It's one of those digipack things, uh, right? The third one, I think I remember vaguely. Yeah. I don't know if I like that one. But as much the as first, first one, day. I watched it for the first time last year. Oh my God, so awesome. Uh, rest in peace, Alan Rickman. He was fantastic. And you need to oh. you need to see the second one. Yeah. I think maybe you like the second one. I'm not just not too sure about the third one. All right, so one. the next one up is um, the fourth film collection of Dirty Harry. Um, you get um, Dirty Harry, Magna Force. The Enforcer and Sudden Impact. I got to know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just love Clint Eastwood. He's my fa- one of my favorite actors. He is just. Have you phenomenal. seen Have you seen any of these? The first one, you not the, the other one? ones. Yeah. yeah, I need yeah. to sit down and watch all those with you. Oh, all right, so one. the next one up, he just got this last year, and that's the Exorcist um, box set. Um, you get the Exorcist, um, Exorcist Two, The Heretic, Exorcist Three, and then Dominion. Uh, we're going to sit down today, hopefully, and watch um, the first one. Finally going to sit down and watch it, guys. Um, and I bought, real quick, I bought that. Uh, it was, I think that's UK as yeah, well. Yes, one of those digi pack things, I bought guys. it UK because yeah. I was not about to dish out. I think I think the one that was released here in the States, I don't know when, I think it was in the $150 yeah. range. And I said, hell no to this that. This is a neat set, though, guys. Um, I love it. But but getting yeah. that, getting all that's those. That's awesome. Getting all those, I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. You know, the complete anthology. Something I want to say real quick about The Exorcist. There was no need to make anything past the first one. Right. The first one was so well done, so good that the other ones will always. Any listen, it, I've I have read for you. I've been watching movies for years. You know this. Yeah. I remember many many times over where uh, uh, a movie will come out like the uh, was the. Uh, what was it called? The uh, Exorcism of Emily Rose. Oh, yeah. Exor- yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, you're which, right. by the way, I think that one is based on a true story. I don't know how true it is. Blah, blah, yeah. Blah. Um, but nothing compares. I have not seen anything compares to the original Exorcist, you know, yeah. that, that's based on that having to do with good evil. And right. one more thing real quick. When I talk about uh, based on a uh, true story, I screwed up when I was talking about the last uh, Steelbook video. I said something about the Chainsaw Massacre, that story being based on a... Uh, a true story. I know, yeah. No, true it, event. not. It's not. The only thing true about it was, you know, the what? guy that was, yeah, the guy. And but what not did he the do? weapon. Didn't he have a fetish or something yeah. with, with flesh? Did he actually? Did he actually? Did he? He didn't eat the flesh. He made he? stuff out of it. Remember? He made stuff from yes. it. Yes. Oh like, my god. Like you take a face. Yes. And remove. A face. He made furniture and stuff, but he never used a chainsaw. So the guy who was the guy that did that? Toby who, Hooper did the first one. To, 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 Toby Hooper. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. From what I understand, everything else was just oh was created. Added in. Yeah. Was was created the yeah. chainsaw. You know, the story goes he was at a hardware store. I I, re- I heard about that. I saw it on YouTube, but I I. 
kind of stand to be corrected on that when I said true, yeah. based on a true story. It's not based on a true story in the sense of what, uh, but just a portion of it. I is, got it. And the portion of it is that the yeah. what he did. Put that back up. We don't need that anymore. Flesh. Okay. Yeah, so but have you seen any? Of the, you haven't seen. I've seen some of the first one, The Exorcist. We were watching. It. I've seen some of it, not all the whole movie. The other three didn't need to be. Yeah. Made. All right. So the next one up. Even though some people say they liked, I think they liked the, the fourth, fourth one. one. Never yeah. seen it. Um, is the eighth movie, um, uh, Friday the 13th collection, excluding eight or nine and ten, oh, which he does own, which is awesome. Yeah. Finally, own or ha- he has owns minute. all three. Hold on. All three. Hold Good on. Lord. Damn, Damn. straight out on <laughs> I was lucky enough to get the nine and ten one. Well, you know what? They want to screw me with that ten, that ten but, set. You know, they um, can keep their fucking money. One day I'm going to watch every single one of these. I've seen. Some of the first one, we were actually watching the third one in 3D, which was really funny. It's actually just, it's stupid, you know, cheesy fun. There, yeah. I'll throw those in there real quick. All right, here's, um, so that's eight, isn't it? No, that's nine. Oh, nine, okay. Here's nine. Oh, yeah, duh. Here's nine. This is like from Germany or something. Well, let me just mention it real quick. Nine yeah. in blue. That's yeah. blue. That is, I think here's it is bat. German. Yeah. I think it's German. I got it from Europe, from, from overseas in Europe. Um, it is region free, by the way. Um, so that left me with only one, which was right. 10. ten. And ten, I, from what I understand, did we ever? Did we ever say was it released on its own? Nope. Only in a ten set. Only in a blue. The ten set. The ten exactly. set, which came out in thirteen. And yes. then, by the way, the only way did you hold on, hold on? Let me see that. The only way you get Jason X, you had to get it with a the double, double with feature. Nine, yes. Nine and ten. Yeah. But the thing you have to remember. That is New Line right. Cinema. Now, you can get it on DVD. You can find it probably by itself on DVD, but not Blu-ray. But um, there's 9 and 10. Well, we don't give a shit about DVD. We're I talking know. about Blue. But uh, I was so happy last year I was able to get him this. Super, Woo! super, Man, super hard Man, I was so happy. But, um, I was yeah. on eBay. Uh, yes. I was on eBay, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, and I was just kind of curious. I was looking at that. Yeah. You know I couldn't even find one of those. Oh, here. I'm showing that already. There you go. All right, so the next one up is um, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. First one's a classic. I've never seen all the second one. Um, and the new one is, eh, the remake is, eh. But um, the first one will always be one of the best 80s movies. What are you this, talking about? Um, Ghostbusters, the first one. Oh, so hilarious. I love it. You like it? Yeah. Did you like the second one? Oh, you I've seen, seen the some of the second one. I've never seen all of it. Um, but All right, so the next one up is Halloween, the complete collection. Now, the only one I saw in here is course the newest one which we do own um of course it has the two rob zombie ones in here as well um this is a gorgeous set i've been telling that i really really want to get this for myself too well, you know what you know what um, you know what i have you know what i have to say about that what? is how many times can you kill his ass <laughs> but we did i finally watched the first one last year he finally convinced me to watch it i'm gonna be watching it every year for halloween i loved it um i've seen some of the, like the h2o or like the curse or the revenge. I've seen some of those. I've never, I never really care for the the Rob Zombie ones, but the first one is an absolute classic. Um, I loved it. Uh, like I said, we watch it every year on Halloween in 4K is the way to go. But um, love it. So I love this set right here. I told him I really wanted to get it for myself too. They were showing those on cable. I know. Yesterday. Yep. All or right. are they still showing them today? I guess they are. I'm not sure. Well, that's a good Mother's Day move. All right. So the next one up is the Indiana Jones Complete Collection. Of course, you get all four. You get uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, The Last Crusade, and The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The only one that I didn't like in that set was probably the last one. Yeah, The Crystal Skull, I still Skull, liked yeah. it, but I didn't yeah. care for it as much but, as I did um, the other ones. The third one has one of my favorite actors in there. Actually, um, yeah, one of them, that's Sean Connery. Um, one day, I'm going to sit down and watch every yeah, single one of these. Yeah, he plays his father. Yeah, mm-hmm. love, love him so much. He's putting them up. All right, guys, we're going to continue. All right, next one up is some of my favorite movies of all time, especially the first uh, Roger Moore and the Sean Connery one, so that's James Bond. Um, I have not seen a lot of the Richard Bronson ones. Richard Bronson. Is that right? Pierce. Pierce Bronson. You know, I say Richard Bronson for Pierce Bronson. Um, Daniel Gregg. I didn't really, I've seen, I saw one one time I was watching on TV. I didn't really care for you it. You already said that. Um, but no. some of the best movies ever made right here. Um, just absolutely love these. Well, well you know what? Here's the thing. You got this culture today. I, I know I've read some of the replies on on, oh, on, uh, on YouTube, <laughs> where some people have come out and said the first, the best, the best ones yes. are Roger Craig. Well, wait hell a second. Daniel this is, Craig. This is Daniel Craig. Roger yeah. Craig. Whatever the hell his name is. No, it is. You're right, Daniel. And come out and said those those were the best ones. Nope. 
Well, then when you ask the question, have you seen the other ones? I say no. They come back, no. Well, how do so you know? So I'm thinking, how the hell would you even know that those are the best ones? I can't say that either. Now, I have seen some of the one with Craig. Yeah. And I was watching one a couple of weeks ago. I probably watched about 20, 30 minutes. So I just, you know, of course, I probably need to see it from the beginning. Um, but uh, I like how it goes from Sean Connery all the way over to the newest one. Well, let me just say this real quick. I think you probably like some of the ones with, with Pierce Bronson. Yes, probably so. And the other one, you know, Timothy Dalton right. was also pretty good, I think, but with some of those. So. I think ones that like I've them. seen. Is, uh, yeah, from what you've seen, uh, right. From what you've seen up to this these. point. Yeah. But, you know, when you get into this best and uh, whatever. Just can't, so, you can't so do overused. it if you haven't seen the no, other ones. No, that word's so overused. Now. That, if you've seen every single Bond film and the Daniel Craig is your favorite, then that's fine. If you haven't seen the other ones and you just say that they're your favorite, like the great Daniel Craig, Daniel Craig ones, then you're not being honest with yourself I or saw everybody a else. List. I saw a list about a year ago. I think it was, uh, I went on a site just to see where the Bond movies were ranked. Right. And this was, up, like I said, about a year ago, two years ago. So I think there's one or, has there any been released? Since then, not, no, there's another one coming out next year. So they have, like, I think it was 20, was it 25? There's 20, I think there's going to be 26 no, now. No, 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 when I looked at the list. Oh, no, oh, whatever. I don't know. And anyway, it had the movies ranked, and I didn't agree with some of them, but hey, it is what it is, so. All right, so we're going to have to do two parts for this one. I think, I think you're, uh, real quick, I think uh, Dr. No and uh, Goldfinger, I think those, I think, Go, I want to say Goldfinger was probably number Ugh, one. I love that movie so much. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we're going to do, we'll have to do two parts. I think that's going to be part two right there. So this is going to be all of part one, guys. Okay, so the next one up is Jaws 2 and But I three. wonder how skewed that was. I don't know. I wonder how many people I actually participated, because I guarantee for every 100 people you get, and you t you take a, you, any movie that they've seen where they've seen, like, all the, say they've seen all the Bond movies, or say all the Friday the 13th yeah. movies, and you rank them, I guarantee each one of them is going to be different. All right, so the next one up, guys, is, um, I don't know, Jaws 2, 3, and The Revenge, it also includes Jaws 3D. Like I said before, the first one is my favorite movie of all time now. I just love it. Um, cannot wait for it to come to 4K. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for that one. And why did um, I buy that? Because you don't even mention any of this. Because you can't get these in the U.S., is that right? You could. Now you can. You, you cannot get that as a set. Now you can. But here's the thing. I didn't understand the, the strategy behind that. They left the first one out. That's what I said earlier. Oh, said, you did? Yeah, I said, well, watch the first one, one out. That's weird. Uh, that's another one. That, let me just say this about the Jaws. The, the second one I thought was okay. Uh, the 3D, no. The Revenge. They didn't need to make the other ones as well. <laughs> yeah. because, and there's, but wait, there are some people that do like them. I know. But come on. Revenge, Kimberly, <laughs> Re a shark. I know. Come on. All right, so the next one up is um, a Screen Factory or Shot Factory release. Um, Cheaper Creepers 1 and 2. Um, he loves these movies so much. Um, I've seen the first one. Some of the second one, I've never seen the third one, which I came out like last year, I think. But, no, um, it was probably about two years ago. Yeah. The third one is not, from what I understand, is not. A, I liked it. I thought it was very good. Yeah. Um, to me, the second one is probably the best of the three. Yep. I like the second one better. I like the, you know, we talk about the kids being trapped uh, on the bus. I thought that one was pretty good. All right, cool. so the next one up is the complete series of Johnny Quest. That was a very popular series back, yep. in, the, back in the day. Yeah, the date on here. That, uh, I'm trying to think. Doesn't have a date on it. That's weird. Uh, shoot, I don't have my glasses. I yeah, so that. that's awesome, I can't, guys. I can't get, man, yeah. I can't even get dates right. Yes, you it's can. So, no, it's so hard because a lot of these bleed. They bleed together. All right, you know, so, so the so next bleed. one up is another four film collection, Lethal Weapon, one, two, three, and four. I've seen the first one. I've never seen any of the other ones, but... um. No, I forgot the third one has Joe Pesci. Didn't you say that was really funny? Yeah, I need to sit down and Tucker, watch that yeah. one. Yeah, it's, it's got it's oh got Joe gosh. Pesci. Oh my god, uh, <laughs> the the yeah, he is hilarious. I love he Joe Pesci so and much. You know, typical cop movie. I watched Goodfellas the other week. Loved it. Fell they're in love crazy. with it. They're oh, so opposite, so awesome. but yeah, it works. The chemistry works. That's of course it did because they made four of them. Yeah, at least. But I love Goodfellas. It was awesome. Which All right. One? Good fellas, I finally watched it. Remember, it has Joe Pesci. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. loved That's it. That's a good one. And I watched Reservoir Dogs the other day. Absolutely love that. Have you one ever, as well. real quick? Have you ever seen Casino? No, I need to watch that one next. You need to see that. Yeah. One. yeah. Okay. Oh, no, it's a, that's some. Oh lord. Next one up is um, Leprechaun. This is all seven films. No, one, two, three, four. Oh, it has four films in here. We just got the the still book and has all of them in it. Um, 
Wait, this is all some films? It says first. No, oh, it says some films. Good lord. I can't read. Yeah. And then he just got Leprechaun Returns. Still haven't watched it yet, though, guys. But, um, yeah. Here's the back you wanted Those to read. Those were fun movies it. back in the yeah. day. I can't say I remember all of them. Um, this one, uh, you know, is even one in the hood or something yeah. like that. I mean, it's yeah. funny as hell. In the but, hood uh, or something. Yeah, yeah, you don't take any of these movies serious, you know. So. All right, so the next one up is the four movie collection on Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, Revolutions, and Animatrix, which we do have the first three in 4K as well. I heard them making the fourth one coming to 4K too, so that's what I heard. So, anyway. All right, so the next one up is oh, the, yeah, milk the consumer. Omen Collection. No, it, it come out individually. You can have it make individually. A, make a damn set. They did. I'm so tired of this individual glob. They this, did make this. a Matrix um, set, remember? That's fine. Yeah, but now they're going to make another one. So now they're <laughs> going to make another one. So they're going to make a 4K. And then a couple years down the road, they'll make another Matrix, and then we'll have to buy another set. All right, then this is the Omen Collection. Um, they've had this at Best Buy. I've been wanting to get it for myself, too. But this is a really neat set. Um, you ever seen it? No, I need to, though. You told me how um, it's good, so, yeah. It's good. Yeah, everything's good. <laughs> it is. You know what it's about, don't you? Isn't Alien? Gregory Peck in that? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All Lee, right, guys. I think Lee, is it Lee Remick that plays the one? All right, so, guys, that'll be in into part one. Um, part two won't be as long as the first part, so, um, yeah. So, make sure to like this video, comment down below what you think of um, this collection so far, and... Uh, what are you Get doing? Ready. You stopping? I'm making part two. Yeah, I'm in it with that one. So, uh, yeah. Um, so stick around for part two, guys. Yeah.